Yo, what up? My name is Derek. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your Spotify look better using a program called Spiceify. Now, Spiceify adds themes, custom apps, and also extensions to your existing Spotify to make it better and make it perform better in case you want specific features to be added to your Spotify. So first of all, let's actually get this installed. So we're just going to go to the GitHub link in the description and press on the installation section. It'll bring you to a blog that, or a document file that will show you how to install it. All you have to do is copy this first command right here. Go to your computer, type in PowerShell, press enter, and just paste in the command. So you can either right click or control V, press enter. This will then download Spiceify and import it into your computer. It should say OK. What we want to do next is just type in Spiceify. This will create a config file for you so that your spot, uh, your Spiceify is actually enabled and running. And what we're going to want to do next is type in Spiceify, Spiceify config dash dir. Enter. This will open up a file explorer with the location of your .spicify so you can import the custom apps, the extensions, and also the themes. So I have themes and even a uh, two extensions that I'm going to install and show you how to install. So first of all, themes, we're going to go to the theme folder here, take in the theme that we want, copy it, and then paste it into our folder, or you can just drag and drop it. We want to paste it in there, okay? Next, what we want to do is we want to go to our Spiceify, Spiceify, and type this command, spicedify config current underscore theme. And then you want to press add a space there and then just go to your theme, right click it, rename it, go back here, paste it, press enter. What this will do is it will update your config file so that it actually imports the theme. Now it will ask you to do a backup before you actually apply. So I'm actually going to type in spicedify backup apply this will back up the files in case you want to restore back to the original state of Spotify so this will take a little bit once it's done doing this we want to type in Spiceify apply now you can see it already uh, it did something over here so we're just going to go back here and just type in apply here it's going to restart our Spiceify or our Spotify again and you can see the um, custom uh, the custom Spotify theme has been added to our Spotify and you can go to any one of your playlists and you can see that the theme is working 100%. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is I want to actually add a um, couple extensions to our also, to our um, theme as well. So what we want to do is go to our back to our folder here, back to extensions, and we just want to drag in these two themes or these extensions into our extensions folder and we gonna do the exact same thing we did with our extensions or with our theme but with our extensions so we just want to copy this command paste that command in there and then just uh, add a space there right click rename make sure you rename everything plus the dot js copy that and we want to do the same thing for the shuffle plus as well and then you want to press on specify apply this will, this will apply and add it to your actual Spotify. So you can see if we were to play, uh, let's just play a couple songs. First of all, the Shuffle Plus is essentially this. So if we shuffle that, it's going to shuffle songs. You can see we got an add here, but, and then once you do have a song be playing, go to your lyrics here, it'll show up your lyrics. Now, Spotify does already have a lyrics section, but this one's better because you can move this, you can put it on a different screen, and you can just move it and it syncs up better. And you can play songs and see your songs while the lyrics are going by. Now, you may be asking, where did you get these extensions and, and themes? Well, on the actual GitHub, you can actually download them. So if we go back to the GitHub, uh, you actually want to download this, this code right here if you want to get the extensions installed. Um, for themes, you want to go to the theme section here and you have two links. You have Spiceify themes and then Comfy. Uh, Spice to five, which is the one I'm currently using as you can see this is what it looks like and then you have this one Which uh, you have to click on each one of these folders here that will show you Spiceify or Spotify themes So for instance if I go to let's so let's say glaze. This is what glaze looks like um, If you want fluent, this is what fluent looks like so you can go through a couple of them and kind of see which one you think you think you like the best and when it comes to the extensions um, you can actually click on the extensions uh, tab here scroll down all the way to the bottom you can either you can click on these and this will go to a specific 
extension here. You can scroll down and see what each extension does. They even have some legacy ones if you want these ones, okay? That's the extensions, and then there's even custom apps. Now, there's only three, and that is Reddit, New Releases, and then Lyrics Plus. Reddit essentially adds Reddit pages, so you can add subreddits to your actual Spotify in case you want to go through uh, custom playlists or something from Reddit. You can do that. New Releases essentially does what it says. You get new releases of music that you follow or that is dropped on Spotify. And then Lyrics Plus is essentially what... Um, what the current lyrics does with Spotify, um, but it, it's a little bit better. You can use things like karaoke, synced, unsynced, and then even Genius. Genius is the best way to find lyrics just because you can find a ton of different lyrics from all types of content, or uh, uh, not the content, music, and it's it's more, it's better. It's um, For me, Spotify is, whatever they use for Spotify lyrics, it's not perfect. There's definitely... Um, there's definitely when I listen to somebody say something like a rapper when they're rapping, they say a word and I look at the lyrics and it's not the word they said at all. And it's kind of weird. I don't know why that happens, but it def I can I definitely notice it. Genius doesn't have that problem, so you can download this one, go to Genius, and it just works better than what uh, this one is. This is what this is what they use. Uh, music's match. That's what they use currently. Genius is just a better version. Um, but that you can just just use this command right here type that in there, apply, and that's how you inst install the custom apps. They work the exact same, just drag it into the custom apps folder, apply those PowerShell commands, and there you go. You have your Spotify essentially spicedified, if you wanna say it, okay? I hope this helped you. I, hoped, I hope your Spotify looks better. I hope it's what you wanted. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button, and uh, subscribe if you're new here, if you like more content like this, and uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more content like this. And uh, peace out.